Hey, I'm Matt, I'm the worst Christian ever, and part of the reason that I think I might be the worst Christian ever is because I really like those scenes in movies where virgins get sacrificed to volcano gods. Now, in real life, I am totally against sacrificing virgins, but in the movies, it was just fun to imagine that the world was so weird that at some point, people did crap like that. Well, like most of the really interesting things in life, when you actually investigate it, you discover that it's all exaggeration. The whole virgin sacrifice volcano worshiper thing is mostly a historical fictional invention. I say mostly because there is one place where we know that it definitely happened. And yep, I'm totally there right now. This is Messiah Volcano in Messiah, Nicaragua. And when the European Catholic settlers arrived, they figured out pretty quickly that People were throwing other people into lava to satisfy their gods. And specifically, they believed that there was this volcano hag who lived down in this thing, who had spiky hair, and they believed that if they came and sacrificed virgins to this volcano hag, she would act like an oracle and give wisdom to the leaders of the tribes who lived around here. Well, obviously this horrified the Catholic priests. They said, all right, this has to stop. but. They were really intimidated by it because they viewed this as the mouth of hell. And they viewed that volcano hag as possibly being Satan himself. Finally, there's this Catholic priest who says, all right, enough is enough of this human sacrifice stuff. And enough is enough of having this door to hell open right in our backyard. So he makes a cross and he banishes Satan from this place. I don't know what actually goes into that. I've never banished Satan from anything, but he did that with all of his native followers present. And then after that, he bound the mouth of hell so that this would no longer be open. But as part of this process, he also forbid any future human sacrifice. So as best as we can tell, this spot right here is the last place on earth that a human sacrifice to please a volcano god ever happened. After the human sacrifices ended, there were a couple more lava flows. And one went up and over this ridge and it flowed about two kilometers down this way. That one stopped before anything bad happened. But later there's another caldera up here and there was a seven kilometer long lava flow in 1722 and they couldn't figure out how to stop it. It was destroying everything in its path and it was going to destroy the city of Messiah. So down the road there's a town called Granada and the Bishop of Granada came out holding the image of Christ in front of him. And he stood in front of this lava and commanded it to stop in the name of Christ. And it did, like the same day, like the same hour. Nobody knew what to make of that. I don't know what to make of that. I think it's incredibly fascinating how these two encounters between the Roman Catholic Church and this fire spewing mountain both ended with the Roman Catholic Church winning and no doubt cemented in the minds of people around here for generations and generations to come that the Roman Catholics had access to the highest power of all, even a greater power than something that looks like that. This guy over here is telling me that I have to leave like now. The wind changed and all of this volcanic smoke just started rolling in on us. Look at that. Some policemen just came to escort us down because you can't see anything. There's a tree there. <laughs> Is that one way? Huh? I'll go see if I can open it. Two, but... 